the affected humerus. That should be a little bit of that. How about your call? Right, but your surgical. The surgical neck of the humerus is higher than but the on this side. I know, the it's on this side, but they're at the same, almost same level. This one's dropped down a little. You're trying to miss that side. So, so yeah. Which side are you trying to get? I'm lost. The side touching. The side touching is the affected arm. Uh, what's that? Right. Yeah. Yeah, I just remember when we looked at it yesterday, I was thinking, man, it looks really low, but then when they showed it on the other side, for the surgical neck. The IR should enter the mid coronal plane at the level of the surgical neck of the affected humerus. Yeah, so this one's going to be a little higher, so you'll want to try and center more to this one. So it would be a little lower. Right, so I was suggesting it's even lower, because the for humeral head is clear. Okay. That's your kind of surgical neck. So, I mean, if you're going to get it, but, yeah. Whoa. That was all jacked up. The central ray, there's no angle, but in, in the special notes, it says it can be angled 10 to 15 degrees cephalic if the patient is un unable to elevate the side. So if you can't elevate it, you're going to have to kind of shoot up. I can't elevate, like bring it up. up. It's just like right yeah. here. So you're going to have to kind of shoot under it, 10 or 15 degrees. Okay. The lateral image of the shoulder and the proximal humerus is projected through the thorax. Makes sense. Okay. How do you do the three to four second read? <laughs> <laughs> and you can set that on the control panel? 